All right, so another day, another video. And today we are going to tackle the track none other than Dragon Mines. I'm actually surprised that not a lot of people are asking for this track until I made up all about this. And it won by quite a large margin against Mega Mix Mania. So before I begin, I would also like to say again that I've already made, I've already made a lot of guides for other tracks, particularly Ginger by Joyride, Deep Tea Driving, Crash Cove, Power's Pyramid, Tiger Temple, etc. for the dev times. So if you haven't checked those out, please do and subscribe if you want to. Anyway, so before we begin, I would like you to turn on your intro whenever a track plays because it is quite crucial for Dragon Minds. So a good friend of mine, PSNID is literally God. You might have met you, you might have met him a few times already online. And according to him, you get the best card cycle two seconds in when you skip the intro. So intro plays and then skips it and then skip it after two seconds. You will get the best card cycle that way. Which means that there are less chances of you intercepting the heart when you go into the shortcut. And of course we would want that for three laps. Okay? So since you have already beaten Oxide and Velo here, you mostly already have an idea on how to power slide at the beginning. Furthermore, we will dis not only the shortcut, we will also discuss the corners here, the curves, which will provide you an opportunity to overtake the dev ghost and to save more time. Alright, so this particular curve right here, this particular curve right here suggests that you hug this one, <laughs> and then this one as well, onto the gold mines or to the puddle, to the puddle of water. Those two. So um, this one and this one. And then here as much as possible, try to hug this, this gold mine here, and... Also at the beginning, at this curve, try to do at least try to try to chain three perfect boosts so that you get level three turbo fire. Then here again, three again so that you get more reserves in preparation for the shortcut. And then once you are in the puddle, jump once and then power side again. Three again, three chain. So for 3 chain, you will be around this area before the shortcut. So we have already made a total of 3, three chain perfect boost. Wait, 3, 3 chain perfect boost. So that's a total of 9 perfect boost. And then... This curve right here, this corner right here, I would also like you to hug this as much as possible. Like what you can see on the map, we are already overtaking the Dev Ghost. And then, okay, so for the shortcut. Now for the shortcut, as you can see here, what I did is... I power slided towards it while facing the right side. And then, when I, when I was getting near it, I... Just focused on timing the U-turn, timing the U-turn jump, like what you can see here in the controller. Okay, let's let it play again. Our slide boost once, so we get additional reserve, and then focus on U-turn. There we go, jump. You can also approach it in a way like um, just power slide continuously until you get near it. Basically, power side until probably around this area, and then new turn. I believe that is. I believe it is faster that way. I only did this because I'm already comfortable with this method, but I'm um, I'm planning to adjust it soon because it's slower. So yeah. Anyway, we're just aiming to to beat the dev goes here. So, if you have a particularly safe method to approach the shortcut, then you are welcome to do so. Like you may be, you may want more space so that you don't hit the walls right here. Also, I noticed something post update. Um, this wall, this right wall, it doesn't completely eliminate your fire. Assuming that you just 
for example, this is the wall, and then let me just that's the correct word. Scrape it. If you just scrape it, then <laughs> it's not going to completely deplete your fire. But you have to remember to not control not not to lose control of your cart, okay? So just keep going. And then once you are in the shortcut. I jump a total of four times here, and I believe that's the standard. Two, three, four. Jump as much as possible. Time your time your jumps well so that you get minimal slowdown and minimal deplete for reserves. And then of course I would I would want you to jump at the peak right here so that you can land to the next path properly. Because if you don't, and if you jump a little bit earlier, then chances are you might fall here. You might fall here. The defense might block you. So once you jump, press u turn as well. Press the u turn buttons to cut corners. And then before you land, power slide. Power slide. As speed, you can do two power slides here. But as drift, Mm, you may need to position yourself a little bit further to the right because there's a chance that you might hit the wall right here where my mouse is pointing out. I mean, just adjust accordingly, like what I always say. Then here, power slide again. Good is okay. Um. If this path, if this particular path is weird for you, if you're not used to it, then you can still take this one to the left. Just remember to take that single power slide, that single turbo boost right here. Because you will need to maintain it for the next two laps. So boost right here, and then cut this particular corner too. Try to get as much as possible. Then this one. Cut this too. And you can do that by jumping. Jump multiple times. And then power slide again. To get your boost back to get to get reserves again. And then cut this curve right here. Once again. We may not be able to do three boosts anymore since we have SF. And since we are using speed here, if we didn't you turn there. If I didn't use turn there, then I would have I would have gone to the left side more, and that that means I will be consuming more time covering this area. So as you can see, what I did here is press the user buttons to keep on hugging this right wall, right this right wall, and then power slide to the left because the next path is going to the left. Then we hug again this wall right here, up onto the gold mines. Then just go straight to the puddle of water. Same as lap one. From here on, the method is same as lap one. So you chain three turbo boosts until the shortcut, and then face to the right again. And here I focused on you turning, and as you can see. I'm doing this by reflex. Um, I press the reverse button and the right button unconsciously or subconsciously um, before the shortcut. Maybe it's because it helps me to take the shortcut better. It's like what we discussed in my Turbo Track guide. Although for this one, I'm not pressing the brake button. But pressing the reverse button still kind of slows down my cart a teeny weeny bit. And then... Not to mention it already prepares me for the U-turn. Since I just needed since I just need to press the brake and jump button. Usually it works fine for me. Okay. So and then for the shortcut. For the shortcut, you have SF and then just take just jump three times. Uh, let's cover it again. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Wait, I mean, jump. The moment you turn, and then once you are inside, 
you will need to jump one two three three okay so <clears throat> this isn't really optimal as you can see right here this one the moment i reach this particular part it's i just focused on trying to jump at the peak of this ramp and it slows me down but the thing is uh if i jump one more between this i tend to fall into a weird placement to a, into a weird area and i usually just i usually fail to jump high and go straight right here okay feel free to adjust you can also uh So in this area, you probably need to power slide while going in there. I mean, like what I said earlier, <laughs> like what I said earlier, um, I've already focused on your turn here. But if you power slide, continue power sliding, continue power sliding the moment before you enter the wall and then you turn, it will probably give you more, it will probably help you cover or jump over the mines more. Like, for example, if I just reach this distance with my method, then with power slide, then uh, turbo fire, with power sliding and user, and then you'll probably you'll probably be <clears throat> around here. Okay, and then what else? Or wait, you can also continue power sliding, power slide here, turbo boosting here. A bit further and then you switch and then time your boost time your boost before you enter the shortcut if you remember what i said in papo's pyramid guide and turbo track guide i mentioned that if you turbo boost if you boost before you jump you are able to skip more distance and that means you'll be able to skip the grass uh, or for this one you'll be able to skip more of the track here oh so yeah just continue this and then up the power side turbo boost turbo boost same method as lap one so there you go there you go for dragon mines all right so this will be the end of my guide um as usual i will be attaching my own run at the end of this video so feel free to use it as a reference or Again, if you don't like to use that my run as a reference, then feel free to use other YouTubers' video. It can help you. It can help you familiarize yourself on what racing lines to take, where to power slide, where to turbo boost, where to how to take the shortcut, etc. And if it's still difficult, then the key here is to just keep on practicing. Don't give up. Keep on practicing. The dev times aren't going anywhere. You have all the time in the world. Okay, ending it here. Thank you for watching. If my guide helps you defeat the dev goes here, then please do leave a like, subscribe, um, say so in the comment. I would be really glad to hear it and it would inspire me to make more guides. So much love. See ya.